Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be looking at coal fronts in the Caribbean. Coal fronts form due to air masses. An air mass is a large body of air defined by its temperature and humidity characteristics at any given level of altitude. Air masses cover hundreds or thousands of miles. Now an air mass forms whenever the atmosphere remains in contact with a large, relatively uniform land or sea surface for a time sufficiently long to adopt the temperature and moisture properties of that surface. This is done through heat and moisture exchanges with the surface. As you can see in the map, there are a number of different types of air masses. An air mass may be referred to as continental polar or polar continental if it has low temperature and in terms of its humidity, it is dry. It is called maritime polar if it is cold, but it has more moisture. Continental tropical or tropical continental is a warm air mass, which is dry. And a tropical maritime or a maritime tropical air mass is a warm air mass, which is also moist. Now, after an air mass has been formed, it often moves to a new location, bringing with it its temperature and humidity properties. Over the Caribbean, a warm and moist air mass develops because the Caribbean Sea is located within the tropics. This is why most Caribbean territories experience a tropical marine climate. During the Northern Hemisphere's winter season, a cold and dry air mass develops over the Northern part of North America. The air mass is therefore referred to as polar continental. Now this polar continental air mass called nothers once formed will advance south and east towards the Gulf of Mexico and Bahamas. As the cold air mass advances towards the warm air mass of the Caribbean, a front or a cold front will be formed. When we talk about a front, we are talking about a boundary which separates two air masses of different temperature, and humidity characteristics. And because they have different temperatures, they also have different densities. In the Caribbean, cold front is a sharp boundary or zone formed where the cold and dry air mass from North America meets with the warm, moist air mass of the Caribbean. So the cold air mass 
which has a higher density, will begin to undercut to the warm air mass and therefore forces it to rise. The rising air cools and condenses along a steep boundary, forming thick cumulonimbus clouds. Cloud formation occurs quickly because of the high moisture content of the warm air mass. Cumulonimbus clouds are rain-bearing clouds and therefore will produce moderate to heavy rainfall. Now this diagram summarizes the changes in weather conditions as the cold front passes. South of the cold front, that is before it arrives, there is a light wind blowing from the east. There is also bright sunny conditions. As the cold front approaches, conditions become unstable with the sky becoming overcast. As the cold front passes, temperatures often begin to fall. Cumulonimbus clouds will start to produce moderate to heavy rainfall. After the cold front has passed, the temperatures will get even lower and the winds will begin to blow from the north. Now on a weather map, we can identify the cold front by a blue line with triangles pointing in the direction of the movement of the system. In the case of this map, we can see that the cold front is moving in a southeasterly direction. So places to the southeast of the cold front will generally be under the influence of the warm air mass, while places to the northwest will generally be under the influence of the cold air mass. The weather station over Hispaniola indicates what weather conditions are like prior to the arrival of the cold front. Notice that there are two octaves of clouds in the sky and that the type of cloud being shown is cumulus which generally indicates fair weather. With few clouds in the sky, conditions will be sunny. The wind is blowing from the east, which is typical of what conditions are usually like in the Caribbean. Also, the temperature is 26 degrees Celsius which again is typical of the temperature of the Caribbean on a normal basis. If we look at the weather station over Eastern Cuba, we can better understand what conditions are like at the arrival of the cold front. Notice that the cloud cover is now seven octaves, which means that it is almost overcast. The current weather condition is a thunderstorm with showers. And though the temperatures are, are still generally high with 27 degrees Celsius, on some synoptic charts, we will see the temperatures dropped at this point. The wind is still blowing from the east. 
Now, finally, let's look at Western Cuba and the Bahamas to see what conditions are like after the, the cold front has passed. Notice that the sky is overcast over Cuba and almost overcast over Bahamas. Over the Bahamas, we can see cumulus and strata cumulus clouds. The current weather over Western Cuba is light and continuous rainfall. Notice that the wind is no longer blowing from the east, but is rather blowing from the north. And this is because of the influence of the northers. One of the most noticeable change is the sudden drop in temperature. So we are now seeing temperatures of 23 degrees Celsius over Western Cuba and 24 degrees Celsius over the Bahamas. At the tip of Florida, temperatures are even lower with 22 degrees Celsius. And if we look beyond that point, also in Florida, we notice that the temperature is as low as 11 degrees Celsius. The temperatures are low because at this point, the warm air mass has been lifted and is now replaced by the cold air mass at the surface. Now I'm repeating myself for the sake of effect. So let's look again at what conditions are like before the arrival of the cold front. Here we see that conditions are generally stable. It's bright and it's sunny. And therefore, it's a good time to do outdoor activities like going for a walk, going to the beach, going to the park, or even flying a kite. However, as the cold front approaches, the sky becomes overcast and it begins to rain. If you have not walked with your umbrella, you need to run for cover. As a cold front passes, there will be heavier showers of rain or even thunderstorms. We can generally expect a lot of traffic on the roads as motorists try to make their way off the roads, which have now become slippery and even hazardous. After the cold front has passed, conditions have not yet returned to normal. So, Conditions will still be overcast. The sky will be overcast, I should say. And there might still be some drizzle or some light rain. At this time, we are experiencing the cold air mass itself, which has now replaced the warmer air mass of the Caribbean. If you are not dressed for the cold temperatures, you may feel like you are actually freezing. So, thanks again for watching. I hope that your understanding of cold fronts in the Caribbean grew. And this will encourage you to do your own research, to do your own study, so that you will 
develop your understanding even more. Don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe.